is Dr. Cozy. It's really nice to meet you. Can I just get you to verify for me your name and date of birth real quick? Perfect. Thank you. And, okay, let's see here. some sinus pressure and feeling some pressure in your ears as well. Any diminished hearing? Okay. And how long has this been going on for? Do you have any history of ear infection or sinusitis? Okay. And have you had any imaging done of your sinuses, like a CT, x-ray? Okay, who is the physician? We'll give them a call and see if we can't get a copy of your film sent over. Okay. So you've been taking a decongestant as well as an anti-inflammatory medication. Do you feel like those medications have helped you at all or... Early. Okay. Okay. Well, let's get into it. First, I just need to put on some gloves. This new box has had these gloves sort of smushed together, making it a little tricky to put them on. But we did it. Okay, so to start real quick, I just want to take your temp, okay? Just to rule out any sort of bacterial process. And this is not going to make any physical contact with you, okay? It's just going to hover over your forehead. Just move your hair slightly here. Okay. Well, you don't have a temperature, so... So you feeling the pressure? Okay. Is it okay if I touch you? Thank you. So here. Okay. or discomfort here. How about here? Okay. Just pressing on your nose. Your adenoid and sphenoid sinuses.
majority of your discomfort is coming from your frontal sinuses, it would appear. Are you having any sort of sensation of a toothache at all? That's a common symptom. Okay. I'm just going to be feeling your face and down your neck along your jawline for any sign of an inflamed lymph node. So, starting at the infraorbital area, which I don't expect to see anything here. feeling, excuse me, I'm not feeling any presence of any kind of lymphadenopathy. a look inside of your ears. Actually, before we do that, I'm going to take a quick examination of the external portions of your ears, okay? sort of sensation of tenderness or discomfort. Thank you. 
feeling any sort of issues in the cartilage, so that's something we can move on to. inside of the ear. Let's check the other side here. So, again, feel my otoscope inside your ear. Does this side okay? Any discomfort or tenderness? for you to see if we can make ourselves sort of a tunnel so I can see if there is any kind of that got stuck if there is any sort of fluid around the tympanic membrane or your eardrum would indicate an ear infection. Are you having any discomfort when you swallow? Okay. Are you feeling like your ears are popping at all? Or okay. And how about any post nasal drip? Okay. I'm gonna take a look your throat in just a moment here, but first...
just gonna see if I can't remove some of that just using a pick. I'm just gonna go on a paper towel so I can have something to wipe my pick with. feels uncomfortable or painful especially I want you to let me know right away okay don't be afraid because actually knowing if there is tenderness inside the ear is a good clue Is that okay? It is pretty impacted, which is making it difficult to remove. much from the ear because it seems like the serum is pretty impacted so what I'm gonna do is a couple things here put that to the side so what we're gonna do here is I'm going to be placing some eardrops inside of your ears which are going to be helping break up some of that ear wax that's in there I'm also going to be saturating 
two cotton balls with some hydrogen peroxide, which I will be placing in the ear as well to help encourage breaking up some of that serum in because I think the two working together will get us some better results more quickly. So, first thing is these drops. These also contain hydrogen peroxide as well, so you're going to feel sort of a fizzing sensation inside of the ears. It's not painful at all, okay? It's just kind of tickly, bubbly feeling. But no sting. The other side. And those should be starting to fix up a little bit. Yeah. I'm going to 
translucent. Just a little bit. to do it's something called an ear lavage which is where I'm going to be using water to flush the bulk of the wax out of your ears once we have that removed then I'm gonna go in with a pick and just make sure that we have everything clean okay it's not painful People say it just feels funny. Mostly it feels like just water squirting to your ears and then you will eventually feel it sort of release once we're able to loosen and flush the wax out. So it's a little weird and it's also very satisfying. First though, I need grab. I'm just going to place this around you to protect it. I'm sure this is covering you sufficiently. Okay. I think we are go. So okay. I'm gonna grab a base in here. So I'm gonna be using this guy to catch our dips. This guy is going to be doing our lavage. Now I know it's a little a little intimidating in appearance, but I promise you it's nothing to be afraid of. It's just big. So it's light so I can see. Place this up against your chin. Just like so. Okay. Is that okay? Okay. It's not uncomfortable. Okay, because I can add a towel. Just like that. The 
that okay? It is weird. Alright. should help absorb any more of those strips. So, I'm using this against your cheek again. Space in over here as it is full. And we'll take our other one. Just we'll get another one here. I'm placing our empty base in against this cheek. Like so.
over here and I'm gonna go back in with my pick one more time just to make sure we got everything. So not okay now.
So I think I've got most of it. We don't need to remove all of it because some cerumen does act as a lubricant for the tympanic membrane, your eardrum. Every time you hear a sound, the membrane vibrates. And so it's important to keep it lubricated so that it's able to move properly to have good mobility. So, I'm going to be taking a look inside of your ears again, only this time. I've attached my insufflator bulb, which as you can see, it was just a little puff of air. Just enough to create movement of your tympanic membrane so that way I'm able to see if there is good mobility or not. If not, that can indicate the presence of fluid, which we will then follow up by doing a nystagmus test, which I'll explain in a moment. First, let's So it does look like there is a little bit of a limit to the range of motion of the membrane on that side. Okay. Let's compare it to the other side now. So say that there is definitely a limited range of motion to both of your eardrums. So I would like to be a little bit more certain in our diagnosis. So what I'm going to do is a nystagmus test. What that means is I'm going to be turning your head with my hands, okay? While I'm doing this, I'm going to be watching both of your eyes very closely. It's going to be like a real intense stare down here. But what I'm looking for is to see if your eyes flicker at all, which can indicate a loss of balance. You 
of little granules inside of the ear that change position to help keep you balanced. When there is fluid present in the ear, it can impair their ability to do so and thus you feel a loss of balance sensation upon having your head moved back and forth, okay? going to start just by turning your head to the right then we're going to turn your head to the left side and back at me how was that? okay and then we're going to do it again, alright? a little bit of flickering. Okay, let's try that one more time, okay? So, moving your head to the right, and then to the left side, back You okay after that? Okay, good. So I do see a fair bit of flickering of your eyes, which would indicate that there was definitely a loss of equilibrium experienced. Would you agree? Okay. Are you feeling dizzy now? I'm sorry. One last trip. I want to do is I just want you to keep your eyes open, look at my nose. I'm just gonna look at your eyes real quick, okay? So just keep them open. That's all I'm gonna do here. Flick the light in and out of your eyes. Square. Don't turn your head. I just want you to follow my light for me. Okay. Perfect. Just needed to for your eyes just because you were experiencing some dizziness and we want to make sure that it is for sure for sure due to fluid in the ears and not a neurological cause okay. I'm gonna write you a couple of prescriptions the first one or some eardrops so that way if that wax 
we accumulate, you are able to help remove it. And then I will also be prescribing you a oral steroid to help clear up that inflammation and swelling because I am not seeing any indication of a bacterial infection. I am not going to be prescribing antibiotics at this time. But if you do notice a change in any sort of drainage or you start experiencing fevers, then let me know right away and we will reevaluate. So, okay. Just making sure we have pharmacy listed. Which we do. assistant, get those called in since I step out. So, I will, I am prescribing a prednisone taper pack, which you will use as directed, and the pharmacist can go over that with you, but it will help dilate the vessels in the ear and allow for better drainage Way, the irritation can go down, the inflammation can go down, and we'll get you feeling better. Okay. Okay. So, just take out my gloves. And pop those into the trash. So, do you have any questions for me before I step out? of anything, give me a call, okay? okay? I will be giving you a call in a couple days to check in with you and see how you're doing. And in the meantime, if you have any sort of change in your symptoms or you think of any questions or concerns, please feel free to give me a call, okay? Okay. You take care. We'll get you feeling better.